Hey guys, Captain Foley here from Trek Yards, and today is going to be the Wonderfest haul video. All the goodies and stuff I got from Wonderfest. Now I didn't include these in last week's episode, um, or the Wonderfest haul, or the Wonderfest video, the main Wonderfest video, because it's an hour and 25 minutes long, and I didn't want to bore you guys too much. So instead, this is a separate video of all the stuff I got. So we're just going to get right into it and uh, take a look. See, first thing, of course, is the Wonderfest 2018 just name badge. I always put on Captain Foley Trek Yards. Um, but there's always a different theme. Uh, this one was Monsters Unleashed or something like that. So there's a bunch of monsters on there. So And Eric Chu. Johnny was supposed to attend, um, but John uh, John's very busy and couldn't make it. So um, there's kind of an ongoing thing at Wonderfest, where's John Eves, because he's been invited to a few, and can only, has only made it to a few as well. Uh, he's missed more than he's made it to, I think. So, Eric Chu did up a funny little thing of, a little statuette of John Eves, looks like him signing prints, and it says, John Eves is in. I mean, that's, if you want to see that, that's in the, uh, full Wonderfest video. Um, but he, had, he was selling pins this year. Where's John Eves? <laughs> And then, this is another way of selling. It's only a model. Because, you know, model builders are like uh, rivet counters, most of them. They make such a big deal out of things when you really don't have to. Uh, next up are these two books A More Civilized Age and A Long Time Ago. These are um, exploring the Star Wars cinematic universe, just different stories and not stories, like essays and things like that. Uh, a friend of mine, Rocco Jerome, actually penned one in each of these. That's why I picked it up. And, uh, yeah, so he's got his little article there. The Lean Years When Star Wars Vanished. And in this one, What's So Dark About the Dark Side? Good, Evil, and the Spectrum of Compassion in the Star Wars Saga. So... And he was nice enough to, to autograph these for me. He didn't do all the articles, of course. It's a collected works. But uh, I definitely am looking forward to reading those and uh, seeing his thoughts on Star Wars. And I'm always willing to help out uh, friends of mine. So Next up, I saw this. Couldn't pass it up. It's Captain Sisko from Trials and Tribulations. And uh, in his TOS Captain's Garb. Got a TOS... Uh, communicator and phaser there and a pad Let's see a little pad in there so this is a towers exclusive had to pick this up I've got um, Jadzia and Miles O'Brien in their TOS gear as well so I gotta pick up all these but this one I couldn't pass up uh, Captain Cisco was just an awesome find uh, <coughs> delve into this bag here. So this is a metal Boba Fett right there. Uh, Star Wars Elite series. So big fan of Boba Fett and just a really cool Boba Fett. I gotta take him out and uh, pose him. So next up we got this. It's a Star Trek bandana, and as you can see, it's got the, the Enterprise on there. Should maybe open it up. Oh, yeah. So there it is. Enterprise, Star Trek on the side, 50th on the bottom. It's a really cool little thing that I thought I'd pick up. Now there was a... Before uh, we went to Wonderfest, somebody had messaged Rick Sternbach asking about this. The um, USS Enterprise Constitution Class Refit Flight Control Familiarization ma Manual from the motion picture. Um, whether he had any left, and he he did. So he, I I messaged him and asked him if he could bring one for me, and he he did it. And this is really cool. This goes through every panel on the original Enterprise refit bridge from the motion picture, 
and tells you what every button does, what every switch does. And it just goes through and lists everything. Um, so this I haven't had a chance to look at yet or read, but I'm really excited because the amount of detail in here is pretty fascinating. Um, and this is this is done by Joseph R. Jennings, Lee Cole, Lou Spitgerber, Splitgerber, and Janet Stokes. Additional console graphics by Rick Sternbox. We did some work on this, but this is the Enterprise Flight, Man Flight Manual from February 1978. So that'll definitely help with the Trek Yards research, I think. I have to do an episode on different controls on the uh, TO, on the refit bridge. So I might have to. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I just have to take my phone out of my pocket. It's bugging me. Next up, we've got. And again, this guy has a bunch of manuals, and this is a data chart Federation size comparison chart too. I was really hoping that Jackal would be there, the Jackal uh, books. Uh, last year I couldn't afford all of them, uh, so I had to pick between you know, a few. Uh, I wish he was there this year because I could have been able to afford more, but unfortunately he wasn't, so this is like the closest I could get. Here you got different ships like the, the Enterprise and the Belknap, the Belknap, the Avenger, and the uh, Knox class. I just love these kind of fold-outs. Here we got, hopefully you can see these. There's the Federation class refit dreadnought, the original Federation class, the Ascension class dreadnought, which is actually my favorite refit dreadnought, and the Katermini. Yeah, Katermini destroyer class. Klingon ship. <clears throat> so that's uh, what's included in there. I also have the Star Trek role playing game. Um, D7 class battle cruiser deck plans. So these are blueprints for the D7 class from the role playing game. So I'm not going to go ahead and show you all that, but I mean, again, something I needed to get. I mean, it'll help with uh, truck yards research. It's just cool to have a collection of this kind of stuff. I've already got quite a few um, different manuals and blueprints and things like that, so <clears throat> building up a bit of an archive here, which, you know, will prove beneficial, I think. <clears throat> also got the Federation Technological Survey, 2150 to 2370, a comparative analysis of the Federation, Allied, not Neutral, and Adversarial Technology, spanning the first 250 or 220 years of Starfleet, <clears throat> Volume 1. This one I haven't even opened to look at yet, so let's just take a quick look inside. Oh yeah, see? It's got ship blueprints. Ferengi there. The Oberth class. great stuff in here. So, <coughs> super excited to go through all these as well and uh, take a look. Here's another one that I didn't open, but I've known about this one for years and uh, definitely wanted this one. Uh, this is the USS Enterprise Officer's Manual. And again, it's the same kind of stuff as the original Franz Joseph Technical Manual on different details. 
what each console on the TOS bridge stands for. <coughs> then jumps into the refit. So it's kind of a cross between Franz Joseph Technical Manual and Mr. Scott's Guide to the Enterprise, uh, in my opinion. They show different uniform styles and what the belt buckles do. Collected survey ships. That's the Bonaventure class. Aaron Harvey and Lonnie would like that. And then just different planetary <coughs> bodies and <coughs> so that'll be very interesting to look at. Here I've got general plans for the Gorn Defense Battle Cruiser. Again, they're just blueprints for a Gorn ship. Another Gorn ship. There's so many different styles of Gorn ships. The ones we see in Starfleet Battles, the ones we see in Starfleet Command, um, the ones we see in the Remastered. <laughs> There's so many different versions of Gorn ships. So here's another one to add to that. And it's just basically deck plans. So. take that out later but this is just a big wall chart of the Enterprise but it's all sealed and taped up so I'll need to get into that later I don't want to really do that right now so this one I had to pick up this one was 60 bucks but, um, I've been wanting this one for quite a long time, and it was funny because, here it is here, the Star Trek Medical Reference Manual. Uh, it's funny because I was looking at it, and I wasn't aware that the, the owner of the, or the, the owner of the booth was there, like, paying attention. I was looking at it, and he goes... I just hear, I just hear out of, you know, while I'm looking down at this, I hear, you know, Captain Foley should really have that book. And I look up and go, damn it, man, I'm a captain, not a doctor. So he knew who I was, which was funny. I ended up buying it. He couldn't, he couldn't um, do any better on the price on this. It was 60 bucks. But all those other things you saw, I got it for at least half price um, as a result. But, because I bought a bunch of stuff from him, so... This is cool. It's got Gorn Anatomy and Dorian Anatomy. Denobulans, Tholians, Denebian Slime Devils. It's such a cool reference. I saw this once when I was younger. I don't know if my brother had it, um, but I needed to pick that up and add it to the collection. So again, I gotta look through these and take my time looking through them. That one D7 set came with a D7 patch as well. So if anybody's interested in a D7 patch, might be able to help you out. I hear my uh Good buddy Ken Palco, Kenny Palco, who made the props, the swords, and stuff for Deadpool 2, signed a little card for me there. To Stuart, fuck you. <laughs> Kenny, props. I also did one for my son Thomas, who's a huge Deadpool fan, um, without the fuck you on it. <clears throat> Kenny's a good guy. Uh, next up is this from UG Models, the Akazi class. Perimeter action ship. Just a cool little refit era ship. And this was actually got for me by Dave, um, my buddy Blappy. He had me pick up a few things and deliver a few things <coughs> to people at Wonderfest because he couldn't make it. So this was what, you know, he 
told me to pick this up. I thought it was for him. I picked up something else from Ugg Models as well, which was for him. But then he said, yeah, just keep that one. Now it's actually for you. Happy birthday, and thank you for helping me out. So that was nice of him. Next up is the USS Franklin from Star Trek Beyond. This is the 350 uh, scale Franklin class mo or Franklin model. <clears throat> I really love the packaging. I really love. <coughs> <coughs> Not a huge fan of the ship per se. It's an interesting design, but the fact that it's 350 scale, I can't wait to build it and compare it to my 350 Enterprise, which is up there. Um, I just love the 350 scale. I think it's fantastic. So I thought I'd pick that up. And uh, this was the first thing I picked up when I got in there. So there's that. Um, and I also picked up this for myself, the Alberto Vargas um, book. Um, big fan of like the Olivia Cheesecake stuff and Vargas, just like pinups and fantastic artwork. So I had to pick this one up. This was the last one they had, and. Uh, yeah, nothing Star Trek related, but definitely one that has to go in the book collection. Um, so, and then from a, I also got these from um, Cracker Barrel on the way home. These Bob's Old Timey Peppermint Candy Pure Sugar Sticks. <laughs> um, Funny, a few years ago when we went down, when I went down with Blappy, we stopped and I picked some of these up because they had samples and I tried them and they were super good. I picked some up and then, if you know Cracker Barrel, you know that they got the the funky big, you know, checker sets and stuff. So after we had eaten, um, Blappy and myself played a big game of checkers outside and I set my bag of candy down. And then we left and I completely forgot about it until I got home that I had left it beside the chair. So I felt really upset about that, but I finally rectified the situation and picked up more. So, Also for my birthday, uh, when we got back, um, these I just got to show you guys real quick. Um, my mother-in-law uh, saw these and picked these up for me. These are 12 inch tall figure model kits. These are the old model kits. Um, the likenesses aren't super great, but they're very cool. There's Kirk. Spock, McCoy, and Scotty. So we got all of those now, um, which is super cool. Put them all like that. You can never see them. So awesome, awesome mother in law. And then one of my sisters in laws got me this. The Search for Spock, which is basically a Where's Waldo book. I'm um, looking for Spock, and it's got some pretty cool illustrations and stuff in it. I haven't even had a chance to find Spock at all in here, but that's a whole page of red shirts. You'd think it'd be easy. Anyway, with that, guys, I'm going to... Oh, oh, two more things that I got. I forgot about. I got picked up this guy. He's the Dagobah R2-D2, just a regular uh, one that somebody had weathered, but they did a fantastic job. It looks very much swamp-ish. And I also got a weathered C-3PO on the same scale. These are 1-6 scale, so. And he's got a lot of nice, nice weathering and detailing on him. So very cool. So, yeah, these guys. And that's it, guys. That's all in my Wonderfest haul this year. I might have got one or two other things that I've forgotten about, but I think I covered it all. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you, um, if you're interested in the patch or whatever, let me know. I, I'd be willing to send that along to somebody. And uh, But, yeah, lots of great technical manuals, lots of cool stuff, some Star Wars stuff as well, and... Yeah, it was just a fun time. You guys have to attend Wonderfest if you ever get the opportunity. It's really worth it, especially if you're a fan of sci-fi and or models, which you should be if you're watching me. Um, definitely come and check it out. And there's some lot of cool goodies. The vendor room is fantastic, so definitely come. With that being said, guys, I don't think we're going to call this a wrap. So 
Guys, please subscribe to the channel, check out other videos as always, and look forward to seeing you in the future. Until then, I'm Captain Foley. Bye-bye.